hi guys welcome back for docker class i hope you are doing well and practicing docker so today i'm just want to tell you that like i taken class before so just a recap of that docker images that we learned docker what is the docker container and the prerequisite of that docker is for example you have to get the web server like web server is apache web server so you have to know about apache web server first or you can take nginx web server also so that is the thing that i want to tell you today that there is there are many servers web servers that you can configure in any kind of linux system i told told you about apache but now i will try to tell you about nginx web server in the docker container itself but first i will tell you in the base machine then only i can tell you in the docker container before that docker images you know docker ps you know docker ps hyphen a you know so these are the basic command that you have to learn in every day every day life so now what we can do is we just have to look our nginx web server what is the nginx web server every web server will work on the port number 80 and the same as nginx web server is also works on 80 but the thing is if you have installed httpd or apache in your system so it will take also eight port number 80 that is the thing that in a pc you cannot use both service at same port number so what we have to do is we have to stop the httpd but first we have to install that nginx so nginx is a web server that you can configure your for your websites like that only so it will take time to install In the meanwhile, what we can do is we can just check is there any software installed in my system by HTTPD? So yes, it is installed. So what can I do is RPM is the command and hyphen E means erasing that software. So I'm erasing HTTPD software from my system. Now if you try to query from the RPM, that is not installed. So RPM hyphen Q means querying HTTPD. So now it's, I think it's downloading something like right now. So we will wait for the nginx but for docker you got some idea how we dock uh, how docker we can use so yesterday i taken uh, the images sent uh, sorry httpd colon latest one now today what we can do is we can take an image that is this one if you want to pull you know how to pull that so docker pull and the name of that image so name of the image in this case is docker pull docker.io slash centos now this will do your work to pull that machine so i'm not pulling it again because i have the same images in my docker images system like this so you can say it's a bootable pen drive so now you can see that nginx already installed in my pc so now what you have to do is you have to disable httpd if there there is no such file directory because we deleted some time before I, we use the command of erasing any software it will remove your software now what we have to do is we have to make some pages or you can say page of uh, that you want to show to the client so suppose nginx is the web server and now there is a directory called usr share nginx html there you have to put some configuration or html code to show the data suppose if i start the service because i told you to start the service of every server if you want to access that so i started that so but the thing is nginx is not started so after configuring this you have to go to the user share nginx html and we'll get to see our index.html page and whenever you try to access that page in the your firefox browser with typing the ip you can type ip also here you will get to see the index.html page if you if i try to see you the content of this uh, file in the terminal only so you can see hello nginx is written there so it's showing hello nginx but this thing we have to do from the docker container itself so what we can do now so we can just check our images uh, that is nginx image is this one so docker.io 
slash nginx so we have to run that image and i told you that how to run an image so what is the meaning of it is interactive terminal and if you want to give the name suppose i am giving the name is nginx web server because if you do not give any name it will take randomly so if you found find out any type of container that you are run, running so it will easy to find that by the name so i am giving hyphen hyphen name name and then the image name what we are going to use in that so if you try to give latest you can give also that but if you do not it will take automatically now the thing is it will run the command okay run the container and after seeing the ip of docker container you can check that it's running a nginx web page so if you if i run that you can see it will take time one or two seconds to complete and in the other terminal what we can do is we can just check is there any container running or not so i think you can see there is a container running 10 seconds ago and the name of that container is nginx web server so if i now the thing is that you have to know is how can you know more about a single container if you want to know more about a single container from your base machine not from the docker container itself on from the docker base machine so docker inspect is the command to know more about a container a single container so just you have to give the name of that container itself so docker inspect nginx hyphen web server it will give you everything that a container have so if i take it enter you can see there are lots of things that is written in json format so it's a json language format if you don't know about that so you can see id path state is running running is true post false restarting false what is the process id of this container in our system that is 16431 and the which images are used for making that and the host name path name of that server a driver which is using that all the things that you can find but the main thing that you have to know that is mac address and ip address so here you can say network settings is there in network setting you will get a thing that is mac address and the ip address or you can see directly from here only so what is the ip address of your docker container that is this one or if i open the firefox browser again to see what content can be see in the docker container nginx container so we have to wait for the firefox to open and we have to paste the ip address of the container itself and we can see the output of that okay so this is how you can use docker container for web server if you want to run any python code any command that you can do that also but the main thing that you have to run every time a web server so if i open uh, by this ip you can see there is a web page called it works so i think you got the idea now whenever you type or uh, run a docker container of nginx image you will get to see one web page directly after running that so if you want to see the logs these are the logs suppose if i refresh it again you can see the main page of docker now you can see the requests are generating as much as you can so if i if i want to show it again so i am refreshing the page welcome to nginx and you can see the logs again that's a request i'm generating from here and you will getting the output of that logs the, these are the logs of that doc, uh, docker nginx image but there's a container is running but if i exit from here like see now if you check is there any image that is running no now if i process it again it will not run anymore because there is no ip address now because i have deleted that or you can say i stopped that so if you check all the containers that are exited stopped started you can see by this this one is the container that i run three minutes ago if you cannot see that i am i can zoom it that is the thing now the thing is after exited there might be a question in your mind that how can i rerun or restart the same container 
so there is a question that how can you start or restart a docker container that is exited or stopped or anything like that so just you have to know about that container name so i think you all know about the container name is nginx hyphen web server so you just have to copy that then you have to just run docker start and the paste i think the spelling is mistaken so i corrected them now so docker start nginx hyphen web server will do your work it will start the container again and now if you want to see that by docker ps command you can see there is a now again the same container is running and if you want to check the ip address then you can docker inspect and the name of that container to check all the things that he have so you, again the same ip if i have copy then again paste you can see again welcome to nginx so this is how the start works whenever you try to uh, stop or exit any container it will not delete it directly it you can see that all the things are in this one sorry hyphen a this is the thing that you have to know so there are uh, now many more uh, containers are exited but the main container is this one that i started so if i try to log uh, start it again it will see now what happens there is no any name with the nginx because the container is already started so if i show you everything here that nginx hyphen web server now if i try to exit that means if i want to go inside that so how can you do that there are two things that if you want to go inside a container sorry for the typo inside a container then two things are there first one is to attach that container to your pc uh, the meaning of attaching is we are going inside that container itself but if you want to uh, remove that you can just directly delete that but if you want to go inside that you have to use attach okay so attach one thing and second thing is can you tell me like second thing is what is the second thing so you have to find out that or what you can do is exit if you want go if you want to go inside a container you can directly exec into that container exec means it, it will give you the terminal of that container so how things works i will tell you now that how it's going to going so uh, you can see there is a container running but now i am on the base machine not in the docker container so i want to go into the docker container you have to run a command that is docker attach nginx hyphen web server is the name of that running container so now see there are two things first one is to attach so docker attaching nginx web server container to my pc so it will take time we can wait for the same and you can see on the browser that it's running till now because it's not exited so you can see it directly logs but if you want to go inside that then docker exec hyphen it sorry the na name of the web server that is nginx hyphen web server and bash what is the meaning of bash i told you earlier in the classes the meaning of bash here to get the terminal but you can see the error response from daemon container that is not running but how it's possible because i just uh control uh, control c pressed it because by control c you can exit a container now yeah, we have to docker start again the same container that is nginx web server now if i try to exec into that container you can see now i am in the container itself so this is the running os or of nginx image so if i show you the files by ls you can see multiple folders and files but i told you from where the index.html can be read 
that is the location is USR, share, nginx and html. Now here is a file that is index.html. Suppose if I try to open that file and see the content, there is no command of vi. So how can I open that? So I think nano will work for me. Or either we can use echo or cat. You can see this is thank you for using nginx and welcome to nginx. You can see here also thank you for using and welcome to nginx. But now the thing is you cannot able to run this. You have to make your your own content page. So suppose if I write a small code of HTML directly by echo command. Like echo hello from docker nginx image. So if I write this code or this variable into the file of index.html now the thing has been changed. The whole code has been changed by that I wrote that is hello from docker image. So that is the thing that you have to remember it every time. Hello from docker nginx image. So this is how you can change your perception towards container. You can change your content. You can change anything here now. But every time you cannot be in the docker container itself. You have to go outside. But after going outside also you have to be running that docker container. But if I exit from here it will delete it or you can say stop. But I do not want to stop that. But suppose if I exit that you cannot run it again. I think there is a running container now how it's possible that there is a question for you that whenever I exit that container before the class it will stop that container but now if I exec into that and then stop oh sorry then exit it why isn't stop that is the question that you have to take and you have to search for that why it is not stopped yet okay so it's all up to you that you have to give the answer to me on every uh, whenever you check that in the comment section so now it's running now if you want to see anything hyphen a like this but now it's here a thing whenever i type this ip in my firefox browser it can uh, show you the content but the same ip if you type in your system not by running the docker container by directly you cannot access the web page because whenever you install the docker uh, zero or oh, sorry docker uh, software it will only stick to your machine only but now if you want to expose your pc expose your service like expose your web server that is running on my system that can be accessible by anyone in the world you have to first get the public IP address or or you have you have to be in the same network. Suppose you are in the my network. Suppose I have an IP of like this machine uh, like this network card and in this machine I have an IP of suppose this one and if you are in the same network that is in my network and you have the IP of 147.9 also you cannot access my web page by this IP. Because this IP is of the container only. This IP of the container. But the thing is, if you want to access this page from this PC that is yours, that is running on this PC, but you want to see this page on your PC, you have to expose the service of Docker. Or you can say you have to expose the port number that nginx or any web server uses what is the meaning of expose the port number by default 80 number port is used by any web server either it is nginx or it is httpd so this is now the thing
what you have to do is you have to expose this port number to somewhere else to your base machine so if i show you that how can you access that web page by docker container but now if i want to uh, access that page by my P my ip address and any other port number by now you can see a, a different image different uh, thing but if i show you now that docker run hyphen it hyphen hyphen name nginx hyphen port because we are using now or we can you can say that we are exposing the port number so now what i have to do is nginx hyphen port and then we have to use hyphen p for exposing the port number what is the meaning of hyphen p here we are exposing the docker container port number to our base local machine so suppose i taken a port number that is 4567 but we have to convert that port number inside of container that is 80 and you have to expose the port number 80 of the container to the base machine 4567 i will tell you how it works just we have to give uh, another image that is nginx you can see there is a port number 4567 and 80 and i know what is the port number of the docker container that is 3 by itself you can see welcome to nginx but whenever i type my local ip with the port number 4567 you can also see the web page this is how in industry works you cannot directly share your docker container ip to the world you have to expose that in docker world or you can say the world if you want to expose that you have to use this hyphen p command or argument you can say you can take any type of port number suppose 8888 or 10 10 10 sorry not 10 10 it's 7 7 or any port number you can use for practice that docker run hyphen it and the name of that hyphen port number is the necessary why it is there because this side we have to expose the port number of a container so in the container we running 80 port number for the web server so we are exposing the 80 port number from uh, to the base machine ip and colon 4567 so this is how port number works so if i want so i'm i again cont uh, exited that and now you cannot see this because i deleted that container you can say or if i start that again start nginx port and if you want to it hit again that you can see and when i try to do it here also by port number 4567 sorry that is wrong uh, call in 4567 you can see because the container is only stopped not removed yet so this is how you can do that now for today's session we have last topic that is how can you remove a container or an image see i am making short videos that you can understand all the points that i want to convey and you can practice in the meantime suppose you are seeing that this video today itself you can practice it today only so I, I can make a new video tomorrow as well then you can practice it daily and I, afterwards whenever i completed docker i will give you some assignments so you have to give that okay now so for today last topic is how to remove uh, docker images and docker container that is running or not so there is a docker image sorry first we take docker container docker ls sorry docker ps there are two running containers but there are different kind of container that are exited you can see there are lots of container that are exited suppose if i take a name from them like uh, mayang httpd cont1 so if i want to remove that fully 
so you just have to type a docker rm is the command to remove this rm for removing so docker remove myung http cont1 it will directly remove them but if you try to remove a running container so you have to use hyphen f what is the meaning of hyphen f you can see on the screen now that stop the container before attempting removal so now what you can do is you can just use hyphen f or docker stop nginx and the container name sorry docker stop the container name after stopping you can directly remove that or it's not i think not stopped yet okay it will take time to stop after, you can use hyphen f afterwards if you are not deleting that so you can now delete by hyphen f what the meaning of hyphen f is forcefully and in my system there is now nothing going to uh, remove because i have deleted all the containers with the running status but if i want to remove all of them the thing is how will you it will take time to remove one by one if you can see there are 10 to 15 containers that are stopped or exited but how can you delete all of the containers by one command that you have to also see okay that you have to also get i i given you a hint that is this command but it's not for deleting it's only showing the container ids but you have to get to find out that how can you remove all the docker containers that is stopped to remove in one command only this is all for the containers now for the image what you have to do is whenever i try to remove a image that is for rmi the meaning of rmi is remove image and the name of that so we have different kind of images so i will take one that is httpd colon port number one so i'm deleting this image from my docker hub so what is showing unable to remove repository reference you have to use must force so if i try to use hyphen f that is force you can see deleted the hash and untagged untagged means it will delete it but you have to like you will get it like that so if you want to remove from there also so copy it docker rmi and the paste the image id so you can see that is deleted completely now so if you try to see again so there is one more that is none copy it paste here and you can see that is deleted and if you try to again see that you can see on the screen now you cannot give uh, see any none images so you get to know about an idea that is how docker remove uh, rm means to remove the container this is a, just a recap uh, docker rmi is to remove docker image and docker run hyphen it and hyphen p for exposing the port to show the world that you are that you are doing something on the web server and the last thing that we uh, in the first thing we have uh, know about that is nginx web server first you have to what we have to do is you have to practice the nginx web server in the base machine first you have to do in the base machine practical that you can see your web page or not after that you can uh, docker pull an nginx image in that you can run that image after taking the ip address of that you can see the web page is running so for today it's all we are making some short videos that you can understand better so till then bye bye and i given you some question you have to practice uh, you have to find that that if i am exited from the container why the container not stop in the um, in exec form means whenever I exec whenever i exec into that container why it's not exited 
and the second question you have, you can see in the video because i forgot that i think how to delete that how to delete all the container are exited in one command only 